Welcome sa e-school ng bayan. Andito ako para samahan kayong mag-review. Tara, aral! Now, let's talk about percentage rate and base. Okay, relatively madali lang to, pero para sa mga nako-confuse or na babalik-balik na mga bagay, let's discuss this one. Sorry, mali yung label ko dito. This is on percentage rate and base. Ignore the converting decimal to fraction. So, if you have this, 6 is 25% of 24. Ano ang percentage mo dito? Or, sige, let's start with the rate. Ano yung rate natin dito? 25%. Kung ano yung merong percent sign. Okay? So guys, take note. Sinabi ko na kung ano may percent sign yun yung rate. Pero in some problems, yung rate mo is expressed in decimal form. Okay? So doon naman explicitly sinasabi na the rate is 0 0.25. Okay? May mga ganong cases. So take note of that. Pero start muna tayo with something basic. Okay. Next, what is the percentage? It would be 6, okay? So, kung may isa kang sentence na nandun yung percentage rate or base mo, kung ano yung malapit sa is mo, yun yung percentage mo, okay? And then, yung base mo naman would be the one na malapit sa of, 24. Nakuha naman to. Okay? So, 6 is 25% of 24. Another way kung nalilito ko ano yung percentage and base, um, dapat kapag yung iyong rate, is less than 100%, mas malaki ang base mo kaysa sa percentage. Okay? Pag yung rate mo naman is mas malaki sa 100% or 1, okay, alam niyo yung 1 na rate, kasi hindi ibig sabihin lang ng 100%. Kung mas malaki doon, dapat ang percentage mo naman yung magiging mas malaki kaysa sa base. Kasi your percentage is a part of your base. Okay? Nakuha naman yun. So, how about here? 25% of 15 is 3. Sige, sa utak nyo lang, identify nyo. Ano yung rate dyan? Ano yung percentage? Ano yung base? Sige, uh, mag-ano nga tayo. Denise, ano yung rate natin dito? It's 20%, okay? How about mark with a Q? Ano yung ating base dito? 15, okay, good. How about K? Ano yung ating percentage dito? <coughs> percentage natin dito is 3. Okay, guys, take note ha. Baka mo napapagbaliktad yung percentage and rate. Okay? Magkaiba yun. Percentage is part no base. Hindi siya yung may percent ha. Baka mo nakakalito because of the term. Okay, so again, yan lang yun. Again, may nagtanong kasi, yung, pin yung malapit sa O, yun yung base mo. Yung malapit sa AC yun yung percentage mo. So, minsan, iba yung order nila. Like, in this one, yung 15, malapit siya sa of and is. Okay? Pero titinan mo muna, yung is, yung malapit sa kanya is 3 lang. And, I mean, ano lang yung malapit sa 3? Is lang, di ba? So, yung 3, siya yung kukuha nung percentage. Okay, mga ano lang naman to, parang kung gusto nyo i-counter check, pero wag nyo siyang masyado gawin yung basis ha? Okay, again, answer this one. Mabilis lang yan. The answer here would be, ito yung percentage mo. 500 is, is 75, 60 is. Okay, nakikita niyo na yung pattern. Rate mo, yung may percent. And then yung base of 800, of 60, of 300. Alright? Okay, uh, another way na lang to think about it pala is, kung ano yung number that follows of, yun yung base. Okay? So, of 60, of 300. Then, yung isa would be your percentage. Okay, ayan. Pansin nyo rin, 62.5% of 800. Okay? So, when we're gonna do solving, pagdating dito, yung 62.5% of 800 is just equal to 62.5 times 800. So, yung of mo, that's your keyword, that you're multiplying 62.5 and 800. Sige, gawin nyo nga yung equation for number 2 and 3. Um, so, percentage is equal to rate times base na equation. Um, for number 2, you will have 75 is equal to 25, 125 times 60. For number 3, you will have 60 is equal to 20% times 300. Okay, nakuha naman to. 
I guess nakuha naman. Okay, so paano natin ito ginagamit? Mamaya sa word problems natin, makikita natin na pwedeng yung tanong is percentage or pwede namang rate or pwede namang base yung hinahanap. So kunwari, wala yung percentage, tatakpan mo yun. Matitira ka with R and B. Since magkatabi, mm -hmm. since magkatabi ang R and B mo, multiplication na yun. So P is equal to R times B. Kapag hinahanap mo naman yung rate mo, R is equal to P over B. Alright? So similarly, kapag B yung hinahanap mo, B or base is equal to P over R. Okay? So para mas clear, discuss natin isa-isa. Okay, so solving for the percentage of a number. We have P is equal to R times B or ito, RB. Okay. Ah, sige, basahin na lang on your own. So, if you have an apprentice electrician is paid 40% of the hourly wage of a regular electrician, if the wage of a regular electrician is 200 per hour, what is the wage of an apprentice per hour? So, anong given natin dito? Meron tayong 40% ng hourly wage and then 200 per hour na wage ng regular electrician. So, yung 40%, that would be our rate. 200 per hour. Ano to? Base or percentage? This is your base. Kasi ito yung hourly wage of a regular electrician. Okay? So, now we're looking for the wage of an apprentice per hour. Since percentage yon ng hourly wage ng regular electrician, makukuha natin yung wage ng apprentice per hour. Okay? That would be P is equal to R times B. So, rate is 40%, base is 200, 40% times 200 ay, per, would be equal to 0 0.40 times 200. Alam naman ko paano to i-convert, di ba? Percent to decimal lang to, okay? Yung iba, uh, gusto nyo lang ginagawa to into fraction. Um, papakita ko na lang rin. Para, ito kasi madali lang yung numbers eh, kasi 40 and 200 lang. What if sobrang random? Like 2.67, mga ganun. So, pwede kang, pwede ka rin gumamit ng fraction. So, since 40% is equal to 40 over 100 times 200. Okay? So, Cancel mo lang yung 200 and 100. Ito magiging 2. You'll have 80. Okay? Like ako personally, mas comfortable ako pag nagmumultiply, divide, naka-fractions kasi yung naglo-long division. Okay? Depende pa rin naman sa inyo. Let's go back to our power. How about this one? If we're solving for the rate, ang rate natin is P over B or percentage over base. So, employees attending secretary training spend 8 hours of their 40-hour Workshop on typing. What percent of their workshop is spent on typing? So, ang given natin dito is 8 hours and then 40-hour workshop. Ano yung 8 hours dito? This is part 2, 40-hour na workshop. Kaya yung 8 na to is our percentage and 40 hours yung ating base. Okay? So, ang hinahanap natin would be what percent or yung rate kung saan uh, kung anong part ng ating 40-hour workshop is spent on typing. Okay, so to get that, rate is equal to P divided by B or 80 divided by 40. is equal to 0 0.2. Okay? So again, kagaya na pinakita ko kanina, pwede in fraction form mo siya gawin. 8 over 40. Tapos i-cancel out mo lang. Yung pwede mong i-cancel out, you will get 1 fifth which is also equal to 0 0.2. Okay, so again, dapat pareho lang yung makukuha mong sagot dyan. 0 0.2, convert it to percent, move decimal places 2 units to your right, you will get 20%. Okay, nakuha naman to. I think nakuha naman to. Okay, bilisan lang. Ay, 5 minutes na lang, may isa pa. Ipapakwiz ko na lang yung sample exercises. Okay? If we have P here and R here, ang base natin would be P over R. Mali na sa PowerPoint. That should be base. Solving for the base. 
So the price of a laptop is increased by 5%. If the price increase is equal to 2,100, what is the original price? So ano mga given natin dito? 5%, so alam na natin na yan yung rate. And then, 2,100. Yung price increase. Okay? Hindi yun yung actual price ng laptop. So, 2,1 would be our percentage. To get the original price or the base, what we're gonna do is divide the percentage by the rate. So, guys, to, one way to check then is dapat mas malaki yung original price kesa sa price increase lang, ha? So, your price increase is 2,1 divided by 5% or by 0 0.05. Alam ko saan ng galing to? 0 0.05 is just 5% in decimal form. Okay, so if you divide this, gawin na lang on your own, you will get 42,000. Okay, so medyo may sense naman ba kung 5% is nasa 2,1, then nasa 10,000 dapat yung base mo. Okay, that medyo marunong kayo mag-check ng ganun. Naan ako naubos sa kayo ng time sa math, tapos hindi na kayo makapag-solve. Medyo smart guess. Okay? Punta naman tayo sa uh, percent problems. Applications ng tunong kanina. So, discount. What is discount? It's a reduction from the original price of a product. So, for example, if we have this problem, address originally priced at 1700 is on sale at 30% off. What is the sale price? Okay. So, ano yung tinatanong niya dito? Sale price. Hindi ito yung base, ha? So, bale, ito na yung base plus or minus nung discount. Okay? So, meron tayo dalawang solution na pwedeng gawin. Solution na pareho na kalap. Okay. Um, one way to solve this problem is yung discount would be equal to discount rate times the original price. Okay. So, kung makikita nyo, rate, yun lang yung R natin. Original price, that would be our base. So, um, in other words, yung discount na to is actually just the percentage. Okay? Percentage ng mababawas. And then, what, what you're gonna do to get the sale price is original price minus yung discount price. Okay? Um, next method would be Isa, isa lang siya, medyo direct. Okay, ito mas gusto ko to. Um, convert first yung iyong rate into decimal, then subtract it to 1. Okay? Tapos i-multiply mo lang dun yung original price. Yung sagot sa dalawang to should be the same. Okay? Uh, I-discuss ko na lang kung paano to sinosolve. Tapos i-quiz na lang. Kasama na lang siya sa worksheet mo. Okay. Increase the original price of a product. Profit in any selling transaction, that would be our markup. Okay? So, similar lang to sa discount. Ano yung pinagkaiba niya? Instead of subtracting it from the base, ia-add mo siya sa base. Okay? Your original cost niya, yung base mo, yung markup mo would be your per percentage. So, to get the selling price, you add the original cost or your base plus your percentage or your markup. So, another solution, similar din siya sa kanina, but this time you're gonna add. But take note, you have to convert it first to decimal form. Okay? Paano naman, i-discuss ko lang muna ha, paano naman kapag may combination ka? Like this one. Ang gagawin mo dito is, kukunin mo muna yung um, selling price niya, then saka mo, ibab ah, kunin mo muna yung selling price mo, then saka mo ibabawas yung discount na ibibigay mo. Okay? Unahin mo muna itong isolve yung nasa 25%, then saka mo ibabawas yung 15%. So, yun lang guys, kasi less than a minute na 